a I am doing another list review. This one is for a uh, casual pickup game, um, and it is from uh, a friend of mine called Thomas, who is playing with another friend, Jess, um, and uh, they're sort of picking up one last game before Jess goes to Norway to, uh, he's going to be a nurse there for a while. So, it is a, uh, a 1250 point game, uh, and Thomas is using a theatre platoon. He's using the 1944 Market Garden Pegasus attack. Um, it has 15 order dice, and it is a themed platoon themed around the veteran units of Paris that actually attacked into uh, Holland during the Market Garden operation. So let me talk you through the list and um, maybe give some feedback on it. Uh, I will, of course, point out all the places where it's not competitive, but remember, this is not meant to be competitive. This is meant to be friendly. It's meant to be thematic. And as such, I think this is spot on. There are one thing, maybe. There's like one thing where I think, well, that doesn't fit the theme, but it's fun. So anyways, he, uh, Thomas starts out with a second lieutenant, a uh, veteran with an extra man. Uh, as a bodyguard. I really like this this um, veteran uh, trend that I'm seeing in some lists of of having a bit larger uh, lieutenant units that are um, that that had, has extra men um, with SMGs. They become a very usable little infantry unit. Um, so I like that. And then he has paratroop sections. He has uh, one, two, three. Four paratroop sections that are all the same. Um, eight men. Um, six of them have rifles. One of them has a submachine gun, and one of them has a light machine gun, and they all have anti-tank grenades. So um, this, of course, as many of you well know, is not very competitive. Um, the light machine gun is overcosted. The anti-tank grenades very not very usable, and on an eight-man unit, they're not that threatening. Um, so. Um, as uh, as uh, optimized choices, these are not very good. But for the theme of the Pegasus attack, this is what those um, sections would have looked like in real life. Um, so I really like it. Um, they're stubborn. They have uh, the British para rules, so they they are stubborn. And with the tank hunters as well, they can sort of sort of threaten anything that comes along. And I know that yes usually likes to bring some German armor. So um, so they're really good units. They're very hard. Uh, they can take flamethrowers to the face with the stubborn. Um, but they are very expensive, of course. Um, that's just what happens when you go for like suboptimal choices of very hard veteran units. And having four of those means you have a lot of redundancy. Um, so I also quite like that. The final infantry unit is a Pathfinder squad um, of one, two, three, four, six, eight men again. Eight men. Uh, two of them has rifles, uh, and six of them have submachine guns. And they have that uh, landing zone signals so that um, any outflangers or reserves that Thomas might want to use, they have an easier time coming on board, which is good. Um, but you have to remember to start the Pathfinders on the actual table. But you would want that anyway. With that many machine guns, you want the Pathfinders moving up into the center table, um, pushing forward. Um, and the two rifles are really good because when you push forward, you're going to suffer casualties and you can take off the rifles. Um, so I really like this unit. It's it's a brilliant unit. It It is maybe a bit expensive for what it does, but it is a really good unit and they do have stubborn as well. So very, very good. Um, then for support, um, Thomas, of course, brings the free forward artillery observer, regular, and he has an extra man for this as well. An easy and cheap way of getting some machine guns into your list. However, when they attacked that bridge, did they have artillery support? <laughs> I can't remember, but I th think they didn't. I think they were out of range of the British artillery. So why do why do they have a, an artillery observer? Of course, yes, I know that by the rules they get the free one, 
but that makes no sense. So thematically, I would have like dropped this if I was going to, with all theme. Since it's just a casual game, I would definitely take it. It's really good. Um, yeah. And then the rest of his choices are all also really good. Um, with maybe one exception. Um, and all of it is more or less veteran. I'll talk you through it. Um, he has a veteran mach media machine gun team, and this is one of the choices where <laughs> that, that, that isn't very good. Um, it's immobile, it stays fixed, but hey, it's a casual game, go berserk. It will be very survivable, because, um, I mean, it has three men, it's veteran, it can sit in cover, shoot out, so it's very survivable. Um, go on ambush. A medium mortar, veteran with a spotter. Um, this doesn't need to be veteran for uh, optimization's sake, but for theme is very, very good. A veteran sniper team, also very good for that sniper duel. Uh, a veteran flamethrower team, very good to be able to throw that up there and, and do some stuff. Right, that's what, I'm sorry, my cat is making noise. Um, and then an inexperienced land mattress. There's no reason to buy the land mattress as anything other than inexperienced because it can never hit any better anyways. So just stay in cover and try to survive with the enemy shoots at you, basically. Um, then comes some very interesting choices. Um, Thomas has two armored cars and they are both inexperienced. This, I'm not sure why, um, because they are airborne recce jeeps, so they have twin forward-facing MMGs and they are bought as inexperienced. You will get minus one to hit, but since you're inexperienced, that, that's really cheap and there's only minus one to hit on ten shots. Hmm. Not very thematic, an interesting choice. Um, I'm, guess, I'm guessing we're learning from the Germans here about running inexperienced vehicles. And then final choice is a veteran Jeep. Um, I am guessing that something nasty like a flamethrower will be inside this Jeep and it will be you know, on a flank um, because it's veteran and he has that uh, LC signals from his Pathfinder unit so it can easily come on from the veteran. Um, that can come in and kill stuff. It can really because you'll move in 12 inches, you'll get out six, and then you'll shoot another six. So 24 inches onto the table. That's pretty far that you can threaten stuff. So, Thomas, I like your list. Thank you so much for sending it to me. Cheers, and good luck in your game.